Hey guys, I'm having chest pain. Oh my god, not dying on camera. That is good. Today is actually the first of a month. Where are we in time? July 1st. Uh, so this is the June update. Um, yeah, there's actually manga, anime, and video games, which is great because that's what the update is about. If you don't know, is every month I show what I got in the month. Um, so yeah, uh, a lot of cool things here. Things I think are cool anyways. And, um, let's get started, I guess. Um, so, let's go with the Vigi games. Uh, there's a lot of wheat. We'll get to that in a minute. But, um, let's start with these two first. One of them I played, one of them I haven't played, but I played the first of. And those are, uh, Vita games. Let me just pull those up. Terraria and The Walking Dead Season 2. Um, so... Uh, probably some questions are arising in your brains. Let me just put my wallet here. Hopefully you can't steal my information by seeing the top of my wallet. Um, why did I get them on Vita? I think a lot of people might actually ask me that. And that's because if you don't know my stance on the Vita, I think it's a great console. I think it's one of the best handhelds ever. Um, if not the best. With power and all that. Uh, but the 3DS is a lot better of a console when it comes to games. But every time there's a Vita game, um, I usually get it. Now, why I got Terraria on it? Well, I, I kind of ho was hoping Terraria would work on the Vita TV. It does not, but um, portable Terraria is very, very fun. Now, I know a lot of PC Terraria guys, they just had an update, and they're like, Oh, your console fag, they're so bad. Sorry for the horrible language. I've been playing a lot of online video games recently. Um, but... It's really good. It's, um, you know, you can do basic... It's like when Minecraft, on the console version, you can technically beat the game by doing the whole Ender Dragon thing. Same thing with Terraria on the Vita. You can beat the game, it's just the basics. If you haven't played Terraria, it's still really good. I personally, uh, my brother, plays Terraria a lot, and I saw a bit of the update that just came out 1.3 or something, and it does look really nice, and it kind of hurts me that the Vita doesn't have that. It might, I just haven't updated, but you know what I mean. It's a little sad, console ports are a little lacking. But yeah, now, onto The Walking Dead. I haven't played The Walking Dead Season 2 yet, but uh, I was waiting for a good deal on this one, and I got it for about 15 bucks. Um, the Walking Dead 1, anyways, and it should be 2, I would hope. I haven't actually looked into it, but I'm only assuming um, Walking Dead 1 worked on the Vita TV. It was a little janky of a port. Uh, there was a lot of slowdown, but in my eyes, if I can take a PS3 semi-quality game on the go and also have that option to play it on my TV, that's why I buy Vita games. It's the option of portability and non-portability that I really, really enjoy. And um, The Walking Dead 1 was amazing. Um, uh, it was my, my first Telltale Games, I believe, game. Um, and it was really good. And I want to know what happens to the main character, which is uh, now... Um, what's her name? Clementine? Clementine. So I want to see what's going on with the story. Um, I really, really, really want them, and I don't know if it's done, I only assume it is, to release... Game of Thrones uh, Telltales on Vita. That would be amazing. I want that. I haven't seen it yet. But um, Telltale Game, from what I've played so far, are really good games, and I want to get into them more, you know? So we'll throw that over there. Um, next, one game I've played a lot of, and one game I haven't played much of, but in the day, back in the day, I did. And that is, um, we got Deadpool on PS3. And we got Hitman, the HD collection, on PS3. Now, Deadpool... I'm just going to take my sweater off. Why am I doing a video in front of a spotlight with a sweater in the middle of summer? Ugh. There we go. Um, Deadpool, I like the character. I'm super hyped for the uh, movie. If you guys don't know, I actually bought a omnibus of one of the Deadpool storylines uh, on this update a long time ago. I'm not sure if I showed it, but I did. Is it? It's actually right behind me! Ugh. And I haven't read it, but it's a hardcover 
me, hardcover comics. Ooh, you know I'm into that. So, let's put that back. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I love Deadpool as a character. Uh, I love the voice actor of Deadpool in this, Nolan North, who is also Nathan Drake. Uh, he's also the Space Corps. He's Desmond from Assassin's Creed. He is a pretty famous game voice actor. Um, he's like a tear down from Troy Baker. But uh, yeah, he's awesome. He does a great Deadpool. And uh, the game is a self-aware game. It knows it's a game. It's Deadpool writing a script for a game while he's in the game. But like the pl as the player, you don't know if it's really <laughs> him scripting the game or these events are happening and he's saying like oh this isn't on script or blah blah and he's just an insane person he is an insane person but you know what I mean but uh, the game I'm, I'm at the very end of it it's really good uh, if you can pick it up for under 20 bucks there's a PC port uh, if you guys prefer PC it's on PC too it's funny as puck don't skip anything if it's like hey go walk around and talk to people Go walk around and talk to people. All the dialogue is funny. There's a shitload of different dialogue options. Um, and I'm hyped for the Ryan Reynolds movie. I think Ryan Reynolds is going to kill it um, as Deadpool. Even though he was technically Deadpool in Wolverine Origins, but not really, because whoever wrote that script is mentally R word. I'll say one word, but not the other. I'm having one of those, uh, one of those days. But um, yeah, now Hitman. I actually jumped into this release, um, I, I love Hitman Absolution, I used to play Hitman Contracts, Contracts? The second one, what is the second one called? Blood, no, um, Silent Assassin, I used to play that one on PS2 a shitload years ago, and I used to love that game, and I'm like, if you guys don't know now, now I usually play my games on the hardest difficulty because I'm like, that's how the developers want you to play it. I'll play it that way, I get all the achievements, trophies, yada yada. It feels great. And I'm like, I'm going to do that with Hitman, and I'm going to start it with Hitman 2, um, Silent Assassin. And I do the first mission, if you've ever played the game, it's a classic in all the games where it's, you start off trying to get the mobster's house and there's the mailman and the flowers and the uh, grocery car and all that and on the hardest difficulty it's literally impossible I'm gonna have to watch a video on how someone does it because to me it, it, it feels literally impossible and then you go to normal and then it becomes a gun game and you're like <laughs> just taking everyone out so the difficulty is a little spiked. I know in the original there was a cheat. Uh, you any map you load, you 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 do the cheat and it would automatically finish the level. Like you know, cheat done, cheat done, cheat done, and you could just do that at the beginning of every level. And when you beat uh, one of the levels in Silent Assassin on the hardest difficulty, you unlocked a gun. Uh, usually the guns were really cool, like sawed-off shotgun and like sounds this and that, yada yada. I want to know if that code still exists in the code like up in the game I haven't looked into it if you can I just go through the entire game do the code get all the weapons then play the game on the hardest difficulty like normal just for fun you know um, I'll have to look into that but yeah two games gotta say the game hasn't aged well Silent Assassin but in it, be, it being in like HD ish with widescreen it's really cool for nostalgia reasons but um yeah those are my uh, PS3 games I got this month yeah there's a bunch of Wii games here uh, none of them are super important to talk about in length so I'm just gonna show them real quick why am I just spoiled what I got from manga oopsies we'll get into that in a second but um a bunch of Wii games here almost all of these I got for a dollar except for one of them and we'll get to that one last I haven't played it yet I haven't played technically any of these copies of anything here but I will show them um, first off ACDC Live Rock Band Track Pack. I had this on 360. It was a dollar. I didn't buy it. Someone else did for me. Um, ACDC, great band. Uh, yes, I know. It might sound weird to me, a guy like me saying ACDC is great, but my favorite band is System of a Down, so. Yes. But um, yeah, Track Pack, whatever. Cool dollar. I have it on 360. You played that. You used to love it back in the day. Um, Avatar, the Burning Earth. Um, I like 
the idea of Avatar. <laughs> I have tried to watch it, um, the Avatar Last Airbender, and I can't get into it. I have it all. I really, really want to watch Legend of Korra. I have a weird thing for that character, not getting into that, but um, I really want to watch that, but I'm afraid what the, the voice of Korra will sound like. <laughs> you know, I'm having weird issues in my head, but it doesn't matter. Um, the game looks cool. I don't know if it's a fighter or an adventure, but for a dollar, I was going to pick it up. Uh, another game for a dollar. Donkey Kong Barrel Blast. It's a goddamn Donkey Kong game. You know it's worth more than a dollar, so why not? Um, I'm not sure quite it, what this game is. Oh, it's a racing game? It's a fucking racing game? Sorry. I, <laughs> I didn't even know that it was a racing game. I might have to throw that in my Wii U soon. Just to look at it. Okay. Um, we'll do that one less, but does the game make it in there? Yeah, okay. I haven't even checked if half these are in there when I got them. Um, next game, a dollar. Ghost Squad! I remember way, way back in the day, there was a bargain bin, and I saw this game. And I'm like, that looks amazing. Now, you gotta remember, 2007-ish. Um, I don't even know when this actually came out, but... It would have been around 2006. Sorry, 2006. Uh, that was 10 years ago almost, and I'm 23, so it would have been 13-ish. So, yeah, but I thought this looked goddamn awesome. Um, but on the back here, I guess there's unlocks, and you can unlock, like, extra costumes, like panda suits and, like, funny stuff. And it's, like, a rails arcade shooter or something. It looks fun! Um, I should throw it in my Wii U, because Wii U has backwards compatibility now, if you didn't know. Um, and try her out just for fun. Um, yeah, it was a dollar! What am I complaining about? Nothing! Next thing I got for a dollar, I actually own. This is an original copy, just like the one I own. Um, if you guys don't know, huge fan of the series, uh, since Link's Awakening. Uh, and that is Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Um, I have already another copy of this on Wii U, as I said. I also have a copy on GameCube, which... When I, on Christmas, um, I'm not sure if I got this on Christmas or a week after Christmas, because back when this game came out and the Wii U came out, it was literally, the Wii U was impossible to get. Literally impossible. Um, but my dad worked at the department store and was able to pick it up. So I got that, and of course I got Zelda with it. And uh, I remember, like, I, this game, back in the day, I really, really liked it, and I, in my head I still like it, but I know some people don't. I'll have to go back into it and try to play it again. Um, I rem and what I'm getting to is I remember uh, seeing the GameCube version thinking, this is the weirdest thing ever, but really the, it was made first on GameCube, and if you don't know, the GameCube version, well technically it's this version, but vice versa doesn't matter, the game is mirrored. The entire game is mirrored, because what they had to do was, um, Link in all the games except for Twilight Prince. Well, all the except all the Wii games. Um, he is left-handed, but because the majority of people uh, are right-handed in the Wii games, they had to move it to his other hand. For some reason, they thought instead of just coding the character to be flipped, they coded the entire game to be mirrored. So. It would work for right-handed so if you are a fan of one version and go to play the other version your mind will be fucked it is the weirdest thing in the world so I got to go back and play the GameCube one um, just for fun because uh, yeah I want to relive that game and I still one of the only Zelda games I've never beat is um, I blocked the game out of my head and I own it too um, <laughs> Skyward Sword my god, that game. What were you thinking, Nintendo? Seriously. Biggest fan ever of Zelda, and you <laughs> killed it for me. Now, the game I want to talk actually more about real fast, but I actually did it for all of them, so it doesn't really matter, uh, is the last Wii game that I actually spent money on, a 15 bucks, well, no, maybe, no, it was 9 bucks, maybe? And it was because of the name. Um, and that is... Rygar! The Battle of Argus, I believe? Um, I'm trying to see if I can stop the blur. La, da, 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 da. 
Yes. Technical work, no editing. So, um, if you don't got, if you guys don't know, Rygar is was um, a game back on the Super Nintendo. It actually may have been an arcade game too. I don't know if that's true. I'm gonna take a sip, stop slinging her. It was an arcade game. <clears throat> it was a Nintendo game. Sorry. Um, called Rygar. It. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, you could pause the video and just search up Rygar NES and just listen to the music for like a minute. Like, just watch some gameplay of it. I think even Game Grumps may have played it, but the music and the style of game is not 100% unique, but it was very, very rememberable. And I, even to this day, I have my NES. I have like 300 NES games. Um, I will always still go back to that game and never get far in it, like the first level. And it just, it just it's a weird nostalgia game for me. When I see <laughs> in a bin, you know, on the side there, Rygar, I'm like, what? Crazy thing is, made by the original company, company Ten, uh, Temco, 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 yeah, original company made it, um, it looks, it kind of looks horrible, if you look at this art, it looks kind of horrible, but it looks like a God of War clone, which, I guess if you had to make a game and you're trying to make a cool rebooty type thing, God of War type style would make some sense. Uh, it was a side scroller where your main character had like a yo-yo type weapon. And in this, I guess he like swings the yo-yo around kind of like um, God of War dude um, would swing his swords and stuff. I haven't played it yet. It looks interesting. Um, and I'm, the only reason I'm kind of hope like thinking it might be decent is because it's made by the original company so time will tell I don't I kind of feel like there was one or two other Rygar games on the PS2 but uh, I haven't looked into it I just saw this and kind of went yep buying that so we're almost done we have a couple anime and a manga which you actually already saw the manga so I'm gonna probably just pull that out now and uh, if you guys didn't see it, uh, I've actually started to read volume one of this. Um, so far, it's very, it's, it's interesting. I don't know where it's going to go. I've seen clips of the anime and know it goes fucking bizarre. Uh, subtle hint, no. But um, so far, the manga is interesting. And uh, hear that? Hardcover always gets me hard. So that is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Volume 2, um, now, the, oh man, these, I don't like when they scrunch down there, but these hardcovers are goddamn fantastic. Hardcover manga is great. I would kind of wished that they would do two volumes per book, not one, because they're really stretching out their pay. Um, I'm just going to double check here if it has any colored pages. I don't think it does. Oh yeah, there was some. So once in a while you get like slightly colored pages in here, but um, is that Jojo dead? I'm not even gonna think about it, but um, yeah, blood, part one, phantom blood, volume two, I'm sorry, reading something going, did I mess up? Don't think so, but um, yeah, it's really old, hardcover is great, it looks great, the uh, the manga was done, I think, in the 80s, so of course it's it's dated looking. But you might be thinking, like, why get these stupid fancy hardcovers when you could get those soft covers from, like, 10 years ago by Viz? Well, if you didn't know, um, their volume one of the original release that Viz was doing years and years and years ago is actually the third arc of the original story, and they started releasing them down here way way already into the series skipping all the beginning just so people who I guess maybe were watching something or people who were into the series could start off in the middle and so the I don't know either way these hardcovers are the beginning beginnings of the story and not like halfway through the damn thing so that's what I've read so I'm getting these hardcovers are released every three months like basically every manga down in a in English, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, there's that. So, into the anime. 
nothing super great here, um, but most of it was actually dirt cheap, so that's why I got them. Now, the first one, if you've been on my channel for a very long time, you might remember a couple rants I may have posted and then deleted where, and I don't know why I'm, I'm so full of myself, people have been around that long, but, <laughs> but um, where there was a company called Thrift Books who would say something uh, is working, like it's acceptable, it works, it has this and that, and then I get it and it is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life in condition wise. Um, well, I found out they changed their name on uh, Amazon and I forgot what the name is now, but it's a different name, same exact seller, because it, they're god, oh, actually I can prove it's the same seller, uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, why won't you focus? Thrift Books is on the side, but that's not what, let me just see if it'll focus back, there we go, um, that's not what, well, you guys see what it is, but, um, that's not where I bought it from, but it is Love Hina! Um, yeah, I got it for like seven dollars after it was done, and it is ah. Not sure if you guys can see that. I haven't cleaned it or anything, but I'm pretty sure these will never run, even though it said they were in working condition. Um, also didn't say anything about it being a printed copy and not the original. Those aren't stickers, by the way. That is on it. Um. That's not a sticker either. Yeah. Um, I usually would avoid thrift books if I knew it was them, but they changed their name. But when it was $7, I guess I took the risk. I, pay I got what I paid for type deal. Um, I have So I haven't checked if these worked. Love Hina is one of the, f well, it's not one of the first, obviously, but it's one of the first, I think, a lot of anime fans, um, their beginning of the genre of harem anime. And uh, I haven't actually really watched it. I've watched like the first two episodes, I think. And I'm trying to remember if Wendy Lee is in it or not. Uh, old school anime people. I say old school and you're both playing, she's, she's in Haruhi. Remember, Haruhi was almost 10 years ago. Well, certain season one, I guess, was like 10 years ago. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, Wendy Lee, she, uh, Haruhi, she's TK from Digimon. Um, she's another very, very, very famous voice actor in anime. And I kind of think she's in here. I could have been just talking about that the whole time, and she's not in here. But, um, classic. It's, it's a classic, right? So if you're huge into anime, and, uh, you want to start your harem for some goddamn reason, uh, Love Hina would be the one you should go for. And I think there's cheap releases too. It used to be expensive like all DVDs and anime, but companies have been slowly reprinting old stuff. Like Serial Experiments Lane, that thing was the hardest thing to get. It was like $200. Uh, when I got it for about 30 I thought I was a god. And now you can get a Blu-ray that's cleaned up and looks fan frickin tastic And I gotta buy it just because it looks so good. But we got two more things here. Uh, let me stay off, stay off ah, story time. Let me take a drink. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound uh, like that. But, um, let's move that. So, there is a um, used DVD place I go to once in a while, and he usually does no tax on his DVDs, and all his box sets are usually $10. Um, and I guess someone went in and dropped off, like, their entire anime collection. Now, you're probably thinking, $10 for, like, a whole, like, you know, DVD, like, box sets of anime and there's an entire collection uh, why isn't this update 10 hours long why didn't you buy them all well I would have um, if 95% of the the sets weren't bootlegs yeah depressing um, I'm not sure exactly how many there were say there was 20 or 30 different box sets 95 maybe it was probably even less percentage wise but like 95 percent of them were bootlegs and you could tell uh for multiple different reasons if you've been buying stuff and researching stuff like i have um if a anime has a slip case that's entirely clear um that's a sign uh if there's no company logos anywhere 
that's a sign. Uh, if you see certain company logos, that's also a sign. Like, there's certain bootleg people who actually have their own logo that is like a fake look. Like, <sighs> some company bootlegs are funny, but if you see uh, Chinese subtitles or Mandarin subtitles, it is a bootleg. If you see official Mandarin release, it is not official. There is no official. Um, if you see anything Mandarin, don't... Mandarin? Malaysian. Sorry, Mandarin is a dialect of Chinese. I meant Malaysian. Um, hell, if you see Mandarin too. But uh, if it's Malaysian, an official Malaysian product of Malaysia, it's fake. Uh, there's only one or two companies that I know of from Malaysia that are real. And uh, I don't know them out of the top of my head, but... Just do your research, guys, if you're going to buy anything on, on like eBay or anywhere sketchy. But uh, out of all those sets, I found two sets. Uh, they were 10 bucks each. I don't know anything about them, but they look like they're old. I know this one is out of print, so yes. And the first one is, can't pronounce it, Jubei-chan, the Ninja Girl. Um, the secret of the lovely eye patch. This sounds horrible. I've never actually read the title. Um, so this is, and if you didn't know, a Bondi release. If you see a Bondi release anime in the wild, guys, for really cheap, buy it. Don't care if it's horrible, buy it, because Bondi is long gone when it comes to anime releases. Um, for, like, they had Gurren Lagann, right? Don't be mad how I pronounce that. But, um, I believe it was Aniplex bought the rights to Gurren Lagann? And they released it for five hundred dollars. Yeah, on Blu-ray, no dub. <laughs> so yeah, um, you see Bondi, you buy. But this is uh, nothing. I don't think too special. Just one of those huge boxes that need to be half the size releases from Bondi. And also, the other one I picked up, which sounds familiar, but once once again, another company. This could be hentai for all I goddamn know. But, um, that it, if I don't throw it, <laughs> uh, Rune Soldier. Name sounds very familiar. I personally don't know uh, what it is, but it is an ADV release. Once again, ADV is long gone. A ADV actually went under because of, um, uh, how can I say it nicely? douchebags who never buy anime uh, they went under because no one was buying their stuff rant for another day but um, yeah this is a chipboard release fantastic like you know art on each disc these releases I love um, you don't see them anymore like you do see chipboard releases but they're usually cheaper and they're not as nice I think the latest one um, I've even pre-ordered season two of is the Sailor Moon one. Uh, but those are expensive as all hell, but they release. There's a huge release schedule between each one, so you can I can if you save up a dollar per day, you know, you'll have enough for the the release when it comes out. But um, yeah, Rune Soldier. Don't know anything about it. Uh, it says 14A, so it can't be hentai. <laughs> Which is good. So, uh, yeah, that is what I got this month. That is the update. Um, I thank you for watching and all that junk. My camera's probably going to turn off in about a minute 10. So, uh, thank you. Um, comment, rate, subscribe if you guys got anything really cool or wondering if I'm getting anything. Uh, write her in the thing and say hey. Uh, Facebook, I write if I watched something, if I played something. Usually if I complete something, I will post on it so you guys can be up to what I've been doing. And, uh, yeah. Thank you.